Okay, so it started me. Actually, I'm kind of into it a little bit now, so I'm a little bit late starting this. For, you know, bank holidays and that, I've had to work, so. You know, life and all that. <laughs> So I'm just going to put this mixed media paper to side, if I can get it under here, yep, so leave it about 8 by 8, eight that way, and that way, and this month I am pretty much going to follow the steps in order because I like them, apart from I'm going to do D first. That's where I'm going to start. Oops. I don't know what I'm going to use as my focal points. Or journaling or anything like that. But I know I want to start with the book text. So I have a pile here of book text. Grab something else. There we go. And let's grab mud punch. Get that shook up and upside down ready. And I'm gonna rip all the edges off like this. I'm actually, I like this set of prompts, it, oh, this is really kind of how I would put together a journal page, this set of prompts. Yeah. They are all things that I would normally do. Sometimes there are things in these prompts that I'm like, oh, I don't do that. I mean, I don't usually add borders, but that's not difficult to do. I can just ink around the edges if I want to. Colours are also colours that I would not normally use, so I know this isn't the, the way I just had them, but it doesn't matter, it's background. I am going to try, I think, and leave some white space on this page. A little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> There we go. So, 
It's almost finished. Now I'm just going to give this a quick blast to dry it. Right. So I don't have a sky blue, but I have a cerulean. And I can mix up some white. It's gone from the jeans that quite possibly the only pair of jeans I have that don't have pink on them. Just went everywhere. Alright. So let's mix this up. Not a bad sky blue, that will do. Let's put bits of some my little top sheet here. Scrap paper. Right. And I'm going to grab my little sponge. No, it is not a very expensive sponge that you can buy in an art shop. It's from P&M. <laughs> and I've cut it into pieces. And I really like it. I love the effect it gives. what I'm going to do for that. So I'll let that dry. Again, just use up the rest of this on here. And the next step is texture paste. So I'm going to dig out my coloured texture paste. Okay, so I have my blue texture paste from Lidl's and I'm going to pop some down on my palette you might not be able to see this but I'm sure you can imagine if you can't I'll paint everywhere <laughs> ok uh, a clean clean palette knife I've seen one somewhere where did you go? From me. Ah, there it is, right from me. And so one of the words is heart, so I'm going to try this stencil that I made myself with die cuts, with the Sizzix Big Shot. And the, the Sizzix, you know, the big steel rule dice, that's what I'm looking for. Nice. I'll do a couple of these.
Uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking maybe do I want a little bit of pattern on there as well. Just a tiny bit. Well, it was lovely and sunny earlier, and now I think it's... I'm not sure if it's still raining. It was raining earlier. I have to bring my washing in. So, yeah, very grey outside now. It's British weather for you. Can't tell what it's doing one day from... One minute from the next. Right. Uh, I'll just put that away a second while I just... Um, Clean up the back of the stencil. Probably want just a teeny tiny bit. In the middle. Try not to press onto the other bits that I've done. No, I think that's enough. So, I've got some water here. Let me just spray some water on here. Just wash that off a little bit. Now it's next. Is it drips? Yes, it is drips. 
<laughs> so we're going to need to let this dry and then I'm going to decide to rip some runs. How am I going to do that? Well, I'll have a think and I'll be back. Okay, so I think that's got just about enough of a skin on it for me to work on. So I'm going to spray some water on the page. And I'm going to use this yellow. It's a um, sort of an alcohol ink that I've made myself with some surgical spirits and the inside bits of markers. And it's also got some of the old smooch spritz sprays in there, which gives it some shine. I'm going to spray some on and try and get it to run. It's not got a lot of pigment in it, I will say. So there we go, we'll just throw some on there. Like that, might be a bit better. A bit more concentrated. Dry it off. Okay, now focal points, focal points. Now then, do I? No, not feeling it. Um, perfect points. Hmm, I'm gonna have a look through my stash and I'll be back. Okay, so I have my purple points. I grab a glue stick. I'm just gonna glue stick these down. Don't usually use glue stick, but. simple way to do it today. I'll try and get this video sorted so that I can do some editing tonight or start some editing. Editing takes ages and I've got quite a few videos ready for edit so we can crack on with that and then hopefully you guys will get some nice videos to watch because I haven't done any for ages. I've been filming them, it's just getting them edited, having the time to sit down and take them off the camera and edit them and all that. Oh, 
just going to trim this one a tiny, tiny bit. I don't think it's straight, but I'm not perfect. I'm human. I don't mind. Okay, a bit sticky to my fingers now. Ugh. Do you love the gorgeous girls? Anyway, highlights or shadows? Highlights or shadows? So, shadows, probably. How are we going to add the shadows? Hmm, what is hardly ever use them. Do I use black? I don't think black. I think it'd be too harsh. The blue. And I'm just going to scribble underneath here and here and find a water brush that has some water in it. Mm. No. Oh, is it one leaking? I think it does leak a little bit. We might be able to... Hmm. Let's just dip that in some water. It doesn't seem to want to come out, so... Just dry that off. And then somehow the zips got twisted. <laughs> Sorry, there we go. Yep. So I'm gonna dry that off and then we'll come back with some journaling. Pinterest page to find a quote. I'm going to grab. Should we use the blue? Yeah, here's blue. I'm just going to write on here the quote. Let's start here.
There we go. Ooh. Okay. So let's use the word kindness. Oops. A little spark of kindness can put a colossal burst of sunshine into someone's day. I do believe in that if you've ever had a really bad day and someone just out of nowhere has just been nice to you. It just Yeah. It just makes you day. It brings it all back around. So I'm gonna grab my archival faded jeans. And I'm going to grab one of these stamps. Let me have a look. Let's just see what I've got here. Um, I have many, 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 many stamp sets. It's a gorgeous range. I'm looking for a hat. This one. No. Let me think. I don't know where my block is. Um, so we may have to use the stamp press. Oops, sorry. I would have sworn it was in one of those drawers, but no. So we've got the stamping press, which is just behind my feet. Excuse me. Thank you. And we use this lovely stamp. Oh, drop my uh, magnet. Hang on. speed through this because it's going to be very repetitive. There we go. Nice, nice simple page. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. I didn't use the red. But, um, yeah, don't really want to. And it's my page. You can't beat me. <laughs> no, I'm really happy with this page. The way it's turned out. I think it's lovely. And I do love those gorgeous stamps. Um, I mean, just gorgeous. And I think that's worked out really, really well. Obviously, it didn't stamp great over the texture paste, but that fix the pet. Dead, blah, blah, blah. I love it. So I'm going to date that seven. Let's pop the date here, the seventh. This pen doesn't work. Where did that pen go that I was using earlier? No, this one. No. Ah, it is. Seventh of the fifth, two thousand and nineteen. There we go. And that is my mission inspiration page done. It's very quick. I didn't think I'd get it done this quickly. So uh, really enjoyed it. As I say, uh, I will leave the link in the description for the mission inspiration Facebook page, so you can come join us and have some fun. Hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you again soon. Bye guys.